So quick disclosure, this video is sponsored by MSI. However, they have not seen this video prior to a release. And as always, all opinions are entire my own. Now, what if I tell you this tiny box could handle everything from gaming to business to basically everything. Today, I'm diving into the MSI Cube NUC 1M mini desktop PC. Let's get straight to the point. So first up, let me talk about, well, this little PC itself. The MSI QB NUC 1M is a mini desktop PC with a compact and super sleek design. It's only 0.8 liters inside, but don't let that fool you or surprise you because it packs a lot under the hood. And today I'm going to show you that it's also a surprisingly capable machine for other users like gaming in particular. Let me start with the front very quickly because we've got a microphone headphone combo jack over here, two USB 3.0 type A, a micro SD card as well, and the power button. I swing it to the back and this is where the QB NAC really shines for connection. So we got two USB type A, two Thunderbolt 4 ports capable of display port and also high transfer speeds two HDMI 2.1 output and other two 2.5 RJ45 connections, which is great for a 24 seven stability. And also we got the power connector, power jack. And yet you've been counting right, that is four displays. This support up to four displays, two HDMI and two Thunderbolt port. Plus those 2.5 gigabits LAN speed can make it a great home mini server alternative and they can even be bonded to up to 50 gigabytes of speed however that's not the focus of today's video today is the NAC gaming and we need to talk what is inside so the QB NAC 1M is powered with an Intel Core i5 120U processor with 10 cores and 12 threads and a maximum of 5 gigahertz with a TDP of 55 watts it supports a maximum of 64 SOD and DDR5 5200 mega transfers a second. But in this review unit that we got here today, I only got one single slot of eight gigabytes. And for storage, it supports two M.2 SSD with Gem 4 PCA4 capability. And that is a standard 2280. And the second one, that's a 2240. That's something that you don't see very often, but it's in here. And for graphics, we got a Intel integrated graphics and it's perfect for tasks like digital signing kiosk or work office but i'm not stopping here because i'm going to talk about gaming so i try natively in this machine play titles like cyberpunk 2077 god of war ragnarok and horizon zero dawn unfortunately all these three games did crash on the main menu or they didn't even start due to the lack of video memory However, this video is all about gaming in this little machine and I did manage to game in this little one with a little bit of a twist because this is a perfect client for, well, Steam Remote, Xbox Cloud or even Parsec if you got a gaming setup already and you don't want to use it and take it around all the time. But honestly, this is a fantastic option if you are looking to have a gaming little device on the go so as you travel you can take this with a portable display as well you can use it for editing because this is great for editing i will get that in just a second but you can take it for a LAN party you don't need to take your massive pc monitors and everything for a LAN party you just take this remote con connect to your main computer at home and you you will have all that power into this little one and yes of course we always kind of have that input lag that is there but if you've got a stable connection between point a at point b being this machine and that machine over there or the cloud this is honestly a super reliable gaming device and speaking of video editing because i try video editing with the vintage resolve that is my software of choice and the render was fast um I scrubbing through 4k footage was smooth making this machine honestly a solid pickup for content creators so are you going to be getting this little beast um also what's the price so we're talking about 920 dollars and it's positioned in the mid-range market for mini pc 
So if you need a more reliable PC for education, content creation, like 4K editing, it's a solid choice. It's compact, energy efficient, and it can handle multi-monitor setup up to four monitors, and you've got fast rendering times as well with no problem. For gaming, well, cloud gaming and gaming streaming are the way to go, sure. Native AAA games isn't happening here, but for someone who wants a portable gaming setup, a traveling editing machine, or something you can just hook up to your living room TV or even the bedroom TV, while your main rig doesn't require all that heavy lift, it's a great option for the price point. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more tech reviews, and let me know in the comments below how you will use this mini PC. As always, I'm Checo Tech, and I will see you on the next one. Adios.